Welcome back. This is Eloise. I'm Rach. This is Brad behind the camera. The kids are at Mama and Bumpa's. <laughs> <laughs> we should change the whole channel name and concept to Brad and Rach, the kids are at Mama and Bumpa's. Or the kids just aren't around. The kids are not here. We don't know where they're at. <laughs> We are on location for today's shoot. This is a video and review all about the snoo. Woohoo! I was very, very hesitant to pull the trigger on the snoo because it's really expensive. For us, because I'm military, they do an awesome military discount, 40% off, which is great. And that's why we decided to go ahead and pull the trigger. They also do a discount periodically of 40% off for different things. Like I think Black Friday, it was on sale for everybody for 40% off. Yeah, so that would be a good time. But you know, only for those that can snag it, for, you know, who are like pregnant. Right, exactly, when else would you buy it? Exactly, and it's only good for how old to your child can about, roll? Uh, yeah, about up till six months. Six months at the latest, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so what it is, is a smart crib. Let me give you a quick demonstration. So from Happiest Baby, this is the snoo. It's what's called a smart crib. Basically, you can turn it on either from this button or you can turn it on. Sorry, I was taking a picture of Eloise. On your phone. From the snoo app. Let's turn it on. You'll notice that you can hear some white noise playing. This is on the very lowest level. It has four total levels. Right, it just barely vibrates and I mean just very slowly rocks them back and forth. Can you turn it up to level two for me? Yeah. So when the baby starts crying, wee, wee, wee. it'll sense that and it'll increase the level of the white noise and increase the movement. Wee, wee, wee. So also the white noise changes when it gets to this stage and it jiggles a little bit faster. That's and... level two. Oh, that was two? Yep, this okay. is level three. And level four. And so the baby is swaddled, so they're not like flinging around in there. <laughs> <laughs> so what we do is put the baby in and then strap her in so she's swaddled and then do up the zipper so it's totally zipped up. And that's why it's one of the safest cribs on the market. Right, so being swaddled um, rather than having loose blankets does a couple of things. It helps keep the baby warm and it also confines their limbs so they don't flail. It's, it's called a Moro reflex where babies up until about four months old will wake themselves up at night with this startling reflex and having them swaddled muffles the reflex where that wouldn't necessarily wake them up. So, yeah, so the art, there's a ton of people who always comment about how they wouldn't, they wouldn't want to be swaddled, so why would you swaddle your baby? Right, it's only something that you do up until about four months or until they start rolling, whichever one comes first. Actually, I think the newest recommendation from the AAP is eight weeks, and I'm not really, I haven't read that study, but... Anyway, um, I think a lot of babies prefer to be swaddled over just being loose. Even though when you first start to swaddle them, they seem like they're resisting it. What you'll find is that if you consistently keep doing that, especially when they're upset, and you swaddle them, then after they're swaddled for a few minutes and you shush them, they calm down much quicker than if they're able to flail. So it's very calming for them. The white noise mimics the sound that they were hearing in the womb. <laughs> So like you can you can hear the white noise. It does sound like if you were inside a body whooshing blood and that's what they are used to. They're used to being confined in a tight area and hearing this loud whooshing of their mother's circulatory system and heart beating. So it just, for the first three months of life or so, just helps mimic what they're used to and helps them sleep and soothe a lot better. So we didn't have the snoo with our twins. Nope. And... We've only used the snoo for baby Eloise's whole life. So for us to say, oh, MG, this is why Eloise will sleep eight hours at night, it's because of the snoo, we can't exactly say that. She might just be a great sleeper. But we both do feel like it's a very effective tool. Definitely. It's not perfect. It's not going to replace, you know, 
having to get up and comfort her every once in a while and obviously the feedings. Right, I'm still feeding her one to two times a night. So this is just a great tool to help when the baby just needs a little nudge, yeah, a like, little help. They just need to be soothed to sleep and there, you know, I will, I will say there's a lot of bonding that goes with rocking your baby and, you know, jiggling them and shushing them. But that bonding isn't effective at 2 o'clock in the morning when you're exhausted. It's not good for anybody. It's not good for anybody. That's not a good bonding experience. And when everything, all their needs have been met and they just need to be soothed back to sleep, those are the times when it's hardest to, like, stay awake because you're rocking yourself to sleep too. And it can get dangerous. There's definitely times where I've been too tired to rock her to sleep and I put her in the snoo and the snoo put her down for me basically and was probably a much safer scenario than if I would have tried to rock her to sleep myself. You know what I mean? Right. There's There's been many times that I was saying, thank God we have the snoo. Easy for me to say. So. Yeah. <laughs> One of the times was when the twins were sick and we were each in their rooms and they were throwing up and it was the stomach bug and Eloise did not have a particularly good night that night but the snoo multiple times like finished putting her down for me right and the cool thing about the app is so if you're a heavy sleeper and you wouldn't wake up the app will tell you like how many times it did what phase mm -hmm. so it's a really neat sleep tracker I'll show you uh, it also does that for naps too so like when you look at the sleep log on the app so you can see, like I can tell when I was at work today, she took several naps and it soothed her a little bit throughout the day. And then you can go back to the night before and see where it soothed her. So it was only just a little bit at 10 o'clock right at the beginning of the night. And actually she's young enough, she's probably old enough now that I can let it soothe her at night, but she's such a good sleeper already that it doesn't soothe her at all during the night. The second she starts to wake up, wanting to be fed i don't even let it get to the point where she's crying and it's soothing her so we're not even using it like to its full potential <laughs> yeah, right we, now and we love it and we're not even using it to its full potential right it could we could use it even more but in the days where we had just brought her home from the hospital like when they're really little some of that looks a little scary for a newborn to be like moving that fast for a new parent for a new parent <laughs> and it's definitely safe for them but there are newborn settings that you can put it on where it's it'll muffle those movements and not uh, not go through all of the levels on your newborn. Right. Um, and you could lock it in the level that you would prefer. So you can lock it in a level one or a level two. Exactly. Um, but there were definitely times that in the night I would finally get her back down and I would hear her 10 minutes later rustling and getting stirred up again. And I was so tired and I would just be like, let's see what this new will do. And it would put her back to sleep. And I was just like, thank God we have this new. Yeah. So on that same token, when they get to the point where they need to transition to a normal bed, Snoo makes it incredibly easy because they have a weaning setting, like where they wean off of the motion. And I'm not exactly sure what all that entails. But yeah, we'll get to that in maybe gosh, a future another, review. Another couple of weeks and we'll, right. we'll be reaching that stage. So we're at three months right now. We'll probably use it another two months, I would say, until we switch her to a, a normal bed. And... We're not sponsored by Snoo, but we give them a highest recommendation. Yeah, for sure. Any new parent we talk to, we're like, this is worth the splurge. Yeah. There, there are a few items that are worth the splurge. And we're going to, we could resell <laughs> the Snoo, but we're actually going to gift yeah. it to some of our friends that are pregnant. Um, so, yes, it's an investment, but you can also sell it. I mean, we're looking, we've been, before we went ahead and purchased it, we looked online. And you can get a used one for 500 Yeah. 500 would probably be at the lowest. And I don't, there's no reason why you would need to get a brand new one. Definitely use, not. Because you only use it for five months. You can also rent it. Yeah, and you can rent it for, how much is it? 100 bucks a month? I don't remember. It's something well, like that. It, you can rent it for this much a month. And we're going to leave links in the description for both purchasing and renting the Snoo. We do make a small commission off of any referral that we get. So... If you are thinking about it, please consider using our links just to help us out. And you can sign up. If you purchase one, you can sign up for your own. Referral like, link. Yeah. It's super easy. So we're Anybody not sponsored, yeah. but we'll leave a link below. Yeah. And then if you have a friend who's going to buy it, just create your link and have them use your link. Exactly. So it's pretty awesome. It's also really beautiful. It is pretty. I would not be excited if it were like 
you know, bright pink and ugly. <laughs> like, like most kids' toys. Yeah, but it totally goes with our decor. The baby Eloise is touching your shirt. Yeah, she has been. All right, well, I think we need to wrap it up. Okay. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw. Subscribe to our channel. Because we're going to do subscribed. more reviews on random stuff coming up. Yes. And uh, leave a comment below if there's anything that you want us to review. And then baby Eloise has something to say. I love my snoo. I was going to show her face. Oh. I love my snoo. And I love the Chicago Bears. It's, I think it's the Chiefs that she the loves. Bears.